Uh, um, basically, I'm at about 33 million records sold in my career. Started out with uh, the Vanilla Ice thing and then graduated on having a production company called Jazz Simple that mentored multi-platinum producers that were like number one in the nation for over 10 years straight. Daryl Delight Allenby, Kenny Dickerson. And basically, our, some of our history is like we did records like the Buster and Janet record and you know all of that Silk and Gerald Levert records from the 90s oh, and yeah. still going and we got Grammys and American Music, American Music Awards. All right, hold, tell me, tell me, I need you to take a breather. Uh -huh. we, they got to be able to, to understand. soak up. No, they want to soak up all soak, of that. Keep it rolling. I mean, you know, we're good. Yeah. 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 Just for myself, that was a lot of sauce. I'm getting chills right now. It's a Janet Jackson, Busta Rhymes, the Silk. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to open your ears now. Well, my, my whole thing is, is it's kind of, you know, but how it all started out was just really, you know, I was the first one to kind of like have hit records. I, I come from the the Russell Simmons original Def Jam camp. I was mm -hmm. like an intern running around with Russell Simmons. Like, I mean, to show you how far back I go, with her, I remember when Russell and him was hustling weed up at City College in 145th and <laughs> Broadway in New York. So it was actually before Def Jam and all of that. My, 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 Russell gangsta days. Oh, Russell's a real gangster. <laughs> Ru Russell... Russell can hustle the mayonnaise off your sandwich. Let's just put it that way. And have you on and have you on the money. He's one of them type of cats. Like there's certain cats that just basically you know, you ever meet a cat and he's just right. about money and just knows money. Right. That's what Russell is. It's like to me, music is cool and all that, but uh, that man knows money. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like don't don't mess with him. Like Some I, old I give school you movies he in, he Yeah, yeah. like like I give you an example, like when we was all doing them early tours and all that, what he used to do is have everybody buy their plane tickets on his credit card. Mm. And I didn't understand what he's doing. Then I called him. I was like, "Damn, oh, duh." What we did is we all bought our plane tickets on his credit card. You know, we made his credit rating and and the, and the amount. Of, <laughs> after about two years, of it, I said, "Hey, man, why, I, why do I have to buy tickets with your card?" He was like, "Exactly." Meanwhile, he don't got his own Rush Airlines. So, so that's so you you meet, you right. meet people like that, and it's like so whenever you deal with like these huge mega successful entrepreneurs people gotta understand like the the russell simmons the lee Oz, the cats that i came up with they're not degree dudes these are hustlers jay-z right. and it was hustlers first right but their level of intellect is like ridiculous so you right. can't even put that on no can you curse on here yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't put that type of shit on no fucking iq chart it's like that shit is not measurable it's right like, <laughs> like dude the new cats <laughs> new cats <laughs> No cats see money in anything. It's like they look at your shoelace and they be like, "Oh shit, I need to endorse that." Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you walk with like you got two left feet or some shit. That's just how. <laughs> you know, you have cats that are like that, and then on the other end you have like the old school Larry Smiths and the Rick Rubens and the creative kind. I'm right. kind of like a mixture of both of that shit. Okay, best that's best what I did. Up. Like so, me coming up, like my my company, I kind of had the foresight of like I just having. I was the dude. I was fortunate to get a hit record and just had like the younger cats come by the house and you know a lot of cats came through my studio like uh, multi-platinum producer who I'm still partners with Dave Anthony like we did a whole bunch of hit records out there on the ocean you know the R. Kelly Kelly Rowland song about you know a couple months back mm -hmm. just started we, we're still working together and actually we he has a label Planet Hum Universal Records and he made me vice president of new talent so that's what I'm doing now shut up so campdavidmedia.one is where you can check me out, and if you you know you're talented, you want to get on, whatever you know, holler at your boy. We can talk some business. Oh, we can talk some business. Oh, we can talk some business. business. Emphasis on business. Yeah, I got, I got somebody need to do talent something. is cool. Yeah, but business. business. <laughs> <laughs> I shall say it again for the for the for the for the for the, for the congregation. Talent is cool. <laughs> But then it's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In yeah. the words of the great KRS One, talent ain't got shit to do with it. That's about five percent of what it is. Yeah. Business, because I mean, you know, to put a point of reference on that. If you think about back in the old school days when people were paying fifteen dollars for an album, it's now a ninety-nine cent business. Mm -hmm. So you got a whole lot of people out there lying and shit in the right. music videos. No motherfuckers is leasing shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> They leasing them chains. Reels, <laughs> cars. There's one, two chain. There's a lot of no chain. Niggas. <laughs> 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 
Don't, don't fall for that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of green. Like we 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 there's, there's a lot of green screen and shit. Yeah. There's a lot of green screen mm. Lamborghinis and shit. Yeah. They, ain't, they ain't but a handful of motherfuckers. Cause I'm like, ain't but five people cutting checks in the music game. So Man. don't believe the bullshit. They don't believe the hype, boy. You, what so they say? Wanna, don't believe the hype. Nah, so if you want to put your you know put your bones in and do your work, that's how you be successful. And then. What I like to tell people is, you know, know what your enough is. Because ain't everybody going to be no damn platinum artist. And can't everybody do that shit. It takes a whole lot of luck and timing to, to mm -hmm. get in that position as well as, you know, being able to maintain that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. and making a lot of smart. Again, what's that I said? Talent? Talent. And then it's business. <laughs> Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit But I always knew that I would be